What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are here for episode 3 of Flashback Pink Slips, where we're going to be progressing through the preseason, our four preseason games, to set up our home opener uh, week one against Mr. Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts as a big time matchup. Uh, we, some housekeeping, a little bit of housekeeping, I did make a poll, because I wanted to maybe potentially change up the presentation of this series, usually for all of my franchise series, we've played two games per episode. But I feel like with this series, you want to progress these games, just not not rush them, but you know, you, you probably want to try to have a shot at getting to present time before Madden 21 comes out. So I suggested that we could bump into four games per episode, two games played, two games simmed, and not only would that help us progress this series faster, but it's going to probably most likely 100% lower the likelihood that we're going to get those five-star wins, which, I mean, we should... I hate the, the, the feeling right now that these five-star pink slip victories, we want to avoid them. Really, you want them. You want to be able to get the best players. But given the fact that our previous Madden 20 pink slip series came way too overpowered with the five stars, uh, we, we have this mindset that we want to make it as difficult as possible to get those five-star performances. And when I'm simming two of my four games every episode, I highly doubt that more often than not, that sim is going to give me a five-star performance. So that is where we're at today. I want to get through the preseason. I'm super sick right now. I got like 102 fever. Um, cough in every five seconds. So I was like, you know what? I I'm not going to make a video today, even though daily uploads means a lot to me. It's something that I like, I like to challenge myself to do. But every now and again, there's a sick day. And I was just laying in bed all day. And I was like, man, I could probably get down there and do the preseason. I can sim the preseason, most of it, play a little bit of the moments. It's the preseason. It's, it's miscellaneous. But I don't want to just skip the preseason because I want these to be four games that we could potentially add more talent to our roster. Now, a rule of pink slips that... A lot of people do know, but if you were new to the series, this is your first exposure to it. Um, the whole players of pink slips is if you win a game, you win a player, you lose a game, you lose a player. However, there are thresholds. We do not expose ourselves to losing players until our team's a base 75 overall. Looking at this season, that's probably going to be this whole season. We probably could go through this whole season, at least 75% of the season, before we hit a 75 overall. So it just prevents us while we're trying to build and grow this team. We're clearly already at a severe disadvantage that we're not going to be losing our best players. And another rule, as you will see in just one second, I got to figure out who are my actual, uh, my team captains, is that because while well, we're on the topic of losing players, you're what, five or six captains in Madden? Those players, once we are exposed to losing teams, once we break that 75 overall team threshold, my team captains are guys that are untouchable. So no matter what happens, no matter what, even if they get a five-star spin the wheel, my untouchable players cannot be stolen. So that gives us, you know, once our team gets a little bit better, a little kind of a tough decision to make in regards to how are we going to dish out those captaincies, how are we going to dish out those, you know, trump cards, if you will, that like no matter what, this guy's not going. So I know uh, clearly Andre Johnson being our number one overall pick from the 2003 draft, we're not going to let him walk. Outside of that, if you missed the draft, we also brought in Anquan Bolden, who's going to be our starting slot wide receiver, 69 hidden dev trait. Uh, we signed some veterans. We got Ricky Waters. And then we spent some time with the Philadelphia Eagles as our starting running back. We got Williams and Miller on the offensive line. Uh, flipping to the defense, we brought in uh, Gilbert Brown, formerly of the Green Bay Packers. Um, Jason Seahorn, one of the only white corners of all time. And then we got Sermon back. We, we actually traded him in pink slips after we beat the Colts to bring in Mike Peterson. And then Sermon was sitting there as a free agent. And we grew him. From a normal dev to a star dev last year. So I felt like, let's reunite that. Let's spend a little money. Because free agency was very, very weak. There was not a lot of big name money free agents. So uh, we had to be kind of diligent. We drafted Mike Cyphers, a hidden dev trade punter. And then we brought in Seabass. Sebastian Janikowski. I actually had to modify him slightly. He only had like 87 kick power. If you know anything about Seabass, he has like the best kick power. Like he's probably the biggest leg kicker in NFL history. So I wasn't going to give him 99. That'd be a little cheesy. But we gave him 98. Uh, he's still an 84. We're one of our best players on our team. So, my voice is about to go to crap, so I'm going to have to wrap this little segment up where I'm talking for like six minutes straight. We're going to get into the preseason. Uh, it's going to be four preseason games. We have no players at risk of uh, losing. However, we are going to try our best to win all these games and, uh, you know, get some stars. Because we get some players from the Jets, Bears, Redskins, and Falcons. So, without further ado, let's kick off this preseason game. I guess the New York Jets. Three buzz, three buzz. Right, here we go. Our first official snap. We're coming in because we're just playing the moments here for the preseason. Third and inches. Ricky Waters, the veteran running back, hits the hole. 
jukes the safety out of his shoes. Big time gainer, gain of 11. Oilers continue to roll. Ryan Leaf in the red zone. What are we going to do here? Oh, we're going to try to fit it into the rookie. Andre Johnson, too tight of a hole. 24. Mickens picks it off for the Jets. And again, we do not have very high quarterback play. Should not be throwing 50-50 balls, even if it is to a guy of Andre Johnson's caliber. Jets rolling. They get a touchdown. 7-zip. Not looking particularly good. I want to hop in here on offense. Try to put some points up. Kick the big field goal with Seabass. Hell yeah. Get on the board here, Seabass. 98 kick power. I don't even know how long of a kick that is. But it's good. Lead cut to seven. Oh, shit. Ashley Lee. We take this, the quick slant on the stick play. Ashley Lee with that 94 speed, baby. The backups are now in. Quincy Carter connects. You're not going to get a lot easier. That was blown coverage. 75 yards. The Oilers have a pulse here. Jets were able to kick a field goal and take a three-point lead. We are actually in field goal range. But I want to take a shot to Ashley Lilly. Oh, my God. Quincy Carter sails it. Well, luckily enough, he's been impressive. But luckily enough, that is in Seabass's range. You pretty much crossed the 50. We're going to be able to kick a field goal here and tie this one up at 16 apiece. Oh, just like that. Quincy Carter does the work himself. Slides down after a big game. I'm going to be honest. Quincy Carter impresses during this preseason. I might have to give him the start. The nod over Ryan Lee. Former second round pick of the Dallas Cowboys. One of those two sport athletes. Very good football player. Very good baseball player. One of the more electrifying athletes in SEC history. Might have a chance at a second shot here at becoming an NFL quarterback. Oh! The timing! That was, I thought for sure that was a pick. That was a sent, that might be like top five throws C4's ever made. Unbelievable anticipation. Oh! They're going all the way down the field. Oh my god, they've gone two. They got two fourth down. Three fourth down conversions for the Jets here in the preseason. The tied up at third. Ah, uh, come on. 13 seconds left. Need some Quincy counter magic. Alright, first game in Oiler history. Oh, well, again, Oiler 2.0. We won the toss. We're gonna receive, and we're gonna win. Oh, we got it. Oh, let's give me field goal right. Shoot him. Oh, hook him. Put the wheels on by a touchdown. That's just for sure. But that is more than enough for Janikowski to kick the game winning field goal. Let's kick it. Get out here with a dub and get a play from the Jets squad. We burn the timeout. Okay. Thirty-four yards. Come on, Seabass. It's up! Oh! Barely good, but it is good nonetheless. 26-23. It's the preseason or not. A dub for the Houston Oilers here in overtime against a very game New York Jets team. We'll, score, we'll, we'll tally this one up. We'll get our star rating. And we'll find out what player we can steal away from the Jets. So, looking at the scoreboard here, we got the victory within itself, so that is a one-star performance. We did win the turnover battle, so let's now look at our individual players. Quincy Carter, over 300 yards on the day. 300 yard plus is a half-star. Another for receiving. Ashley Lilly, five catches, 128 yards, two touchdowns. So, between the 100-plus yards, two receiving touchdowns, that's one full star from Ashley Lilly. And I think that that is going to do it. Very close. Half-sack away for Ruff for getting another star. So, that is... Two and a half star performance for this victory. We round down always. So that's a two star performance, which equals a plus four upgrade from the New York Jets. This actually ended up as a pretty big upgrade. Even though it's the preseason, they say the preseason meaningless. This is huge. So we upgraded our guards here, plus two. Ackerman's 31. Goodman's is like 24, 25. So that's getting younger there. But this is the big one. We're flipping Aaron Kenny, who we earned a dev trade for and actually played fairly well last season. But when you have an opportunity, to get an upgrade to get Jason Witten, who we only could imagine what that dev trade is. You cannot pass up on that. So that is going to be, without a shout out, the best upgrade we could get from this game with the Jets. Welcome to Houston, Jason Witten. All right, Ryan Leaf coming in here in game two of the preseason against the Chicago Bears. I desperately want to hit this deep shot with Andre Johnson. 
I want to desperately hit it, but it doesn't make sense. Can we go to Lee? Oh, that was good. That was real good pass break up there by 24. I'm liking the though. He's getting open. He got that speed. He got that burst. I think we're going to see a lot of him this season, especially in the regular season. All right, we got a third and 22 here after making the field goal to make it 3 0. Maybe Jason Witten. Maybe try to force it into Witten, get him a big first catch. He gets open, breaks free on Brian Erlacher. Enough to get the first down. Oilers roll it. Just like that. Sensational blocking Ricky Waters. Untouched 10 zip Oilers. Third and six on the 11. We're going to go with the bench. I, I desperately want to get this in to one of our new playmakers. We had Andre Johnson, Anquan Bolden. Did the Bolden two toes in? Beautiful! Oh my god. Did this get switched to rookie? Ricky Waters breaks and brushes off the initial contact. We can have a five star preseason game here, fellas. So I'm going to go on the four. Pretty much told Quincy Carter to run. Take it off with it if you have to. Or we'll just throw it into the running back who's wide open. Incredibly soft coverage from the Chicago Bears. This is a route. So, big time victory. 30 to 9. So we got the star, full star for the win. We get a full star for a 21 plus point victory as we got a 21 right on the dot. So we're starting with two stars right off the rip. Outside of that though, disappointing performances from a pink slip standard. Nothing for our quarterbacks. We got half a star for Ricky Waters getting two rushing touchdowns. Nothing for our receivers. Nothing for our defense. A sack and a half. Half a sack away from getting a half star. So even though we dominated, it's still a two and a half star performance. Got a round down to two, which gives us a plus four upgrade opportunity from the Chicago Bears. So nothing too crazy here. I mean, you know, again, it's the preseason. We're not going to be getting massive, massive upgrades, even though... That Jason Witten one seems, obviously, the implication of adding Jason Witten could drastically change how this franchise turns out. But not all wins are going to be like that. So here we have Jaquai Parker, who's a 69 overall normal dev defensive end, 25. He's solid. And we're just going to flip him for an upgrade, getting Alex Brown from Florida, 73 overall. See, now it's, it's just better athlete, maybe not as much of a scheme fit, but uh, gives us a little bit more versatility, a little bit more speed coming off the edge. Ah, third and four. Armstead gets... Oh, my God, man. I just feel so much more comfortable in the pocket with Quincy Carter than I do Ryan Leaf. I'm not playing particularly well when it comes to Ryan Leaf. But, hey, we're in field goal range to start this game with three points. But that is just bad, bad decision-making in the pocket there. Oh, shit. Okay, we're down. Redskins go down the field. Get a touchdown. Better than our two field goals. We have an opportunity here on third down, though. In Redskin territory, fringe field goal. Maybe to get back the lead. All right, the oldest toss play in Madden 20 history, the 34-year-old Ricky Waters. He gets to the outside. Oh, the juke move. He gains zero yards back to the line of scrimmage. However, I still think that is well within Seabass's range for us to kick another field goal. 59 yards. We got seven win helping us out on our backs. That is as good of a kick as you're going to see. It is up, and it is right down the middle. And the Oilers regain 9-7 lead. But again... Washington, in only two drives, has got a one touchdown. We've had three, four drives, and three field goals. Not good. Come on. God damn, he's drunk. Behind the line of scrimmage, Ricky Waters is a drunk man. Just stumbles, falls down. It's a nice TFL. We'll have to kick yet another field goal, but a field goal is unsexy, is unappealing. I mean, when you have Seabass kicking it, it's pretty goddamn sexy. But another field goal gives us the lead back. Oh, no. No! They got another touchdown. But we have a red zone opportunity. Third and inches. Quincy Carter. Come on. OJ Santiago across the middle. I'll take that matchup all day long. He's 6-7. First and goal. Come on, Holcomb. Come on, Holcomb. Yes! He gets tackled in the end zone by 75 there on the Redskins. I like it. Beautiful. We tied up 22 apiece. Everything to play for here in the fourth quarter. Oilers looking for... Their third. Ah, there's a touchdown. Their third straight preseason victory. And they get it. Jay Gruden, who's living now in 2003. Can't believe it. it looks That's a young-looking Joe Gibbs right there, if I've ever seen one. But that is three straight preseason victories for the Houston Oilers. We're going to calculate our star rate. We'll be back and we get to steal another player. Make it three for three. And I'm already getting flashbacks of this being too easy. 
So calculating it up, we got the victory, which is a one star performance. We actually won the turnover battle, the plus minus, which is half a star. And then going into our player stats, this is where it gets a little murky. We got nothing from our quarterbacks. Um, Holcomb had two rushing touchdowns, which is a half star. Nothing from our wide receivers. On the defense, we got, four, we got three sacks, but unfortunately, no one got double digit sacks. But we did have the interception here from Holosek, um, which gives us, again, for the third straight victory, a two and a half star performance, which we have to round down to a two star. So while I am myself a little bit, hmm, with three straight victories with predominantly using the sim, it's at least it hasn't been anything crazy. They're all two stars. We're just making our team pretty much upgrading depth more often than not. So here's the trade that made the most sense for us right now. Holstic who actually had the interception in that Redskins preseason game. We're going to flip him for Antonio Pierce, 66 overall linebacker. Does have a star dev. Now, I more so associate Pierce with the New York Giants. I think when I started getting football, that's where he was. But he's still a very solid looking linebacker. And we get the dev trade upgrade. Um, and what I kind of meant by like getting depth players, essentially, we're just getting other teams depth. We're not taking starters outside of Jason Witten. Uh, so it's not like... We're drastically altering the landscape of the NFL here in the preseason. We're just getting small, little, minuscule upgrades on our defense in this trade, particularly. And Pierce is going to be our brand new starting middle linebacker. Still, only a 66 overall. Ooh, face mask. Pretty much how we're starting every game in this preseason has been with a field goal, but that face mask might be able to get seven. Boom, we get seven. The I'm going to sim this one out. Let's just see what that. Let's just see how OP the sim actually is. Like if we win this with the sim, then it's not, it's not just me. It's all, you know, it's not just the difficulty that we're playing on. Our team's just a sim god right now. 21-7. We are just smoked. My team can't play this well when I do a damn rebuild and they're like a 90 overall. This is insanity. Okay, they're closing it up there. Oh, no. Okay, we're tied up 21 apiece. Everything to play for here in the fourth quarter. Atlanta pressing for points. Three-point lead. Fourth down, we're coming in. So there's no stick. Here we got Lily deep. We go to OJ Santiago. We got Drew Bennett in the slot. We'll go Drew Bennett. And he drops it on fourth and one. We might actually have our first preseason loss. It makes me so okay. We still we still got a chance here. End of game. Let's go. Big old Santiago getting near. Okay, we're at the 38. Let's go no huddle here. Got no timeouts. Ashley Lee, our speedster, out of the slot This is probably going to be our initial reveal. The running back's wide open. The Falcons here giving us the middle of the field. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, we got to have time. Get out of time. Hot the ball. God damn it. That's why they gave us the middle of the field. They knew we were dumb enough to actually throw that. Let the clock chew out. Well, at least we can say we didn't win all of our preseason games. Falling 27-21 to to the Atlanta Falcons. Another really impressive performance of Quincy Carter. I honestly think he might be our starter. We're going to have to end this episode with who you guys think deserves to be our coach. I think it's Quincy Carter, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely find out early, especially the more that we actually get to play. Uh, Michael Vick came in, through a touchdown, got out of there. Run the ball, TJ Duckett and Holcomb. Over 100 yards for Ashley Lee. I like seeing that. He's definitely emerged. He's definitely racing. I hear I thought Andre Johnson and Quan Bolden, one of those guys was going to catch my eye. But no, it's Ashley Lee. We got a second half there for Raheem Brock. Uh, Bolden got an interception there for the Falcons. Four for four on field goals for Jay Feely. The kicker with the gloves as we fall here in the fourth and final preseason game. Still a 3-1 and record in the preseason. Something we can be very proud upon and, and build on that as we enter the regular season. And that is the preseason. That will wrap it up. 3-1 and one in the preseason. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on if you want this to be super challenging or not, we only got three plus... Uh, three two-star performances so it wasn't like we barely had the bare minimum for wins and our team's that much closer if you want to look at it from a challenger standpoint to losing players as we gained one team overall we were started the preseason at a 70 we finished as a 71 looking at the faces that we were able to bring in uh we got uh jonathan G uh, goodwin at guard 69 overall we got obviously jason Witten at tight end this is the big get hook line and sinker you can only imagine what that dev trait's going to be. I'm going to guess it's going to be at least Superstar. We were able to add on the defense, Alex Brown from the Chicago Bears, 74 overall defensive end from Florida. And for beating the Washington Redskins, we got Antonio Pierce, 66 star dev linebacker, to try to come in, get his first big breakthrough to start in the NFL, and see if he can be and develop into one of the anchors 
of this Oilers defense. So our team's looking pretty solid. I guess the big question is, who do you think should be our starting quarterback? Should it be Ryan Leaf, one of the biggest busts of all time, who last year during the relocation sim played surprisingly well? Or should it be Quincy Carter, another guy that's kind of had a bust tag, but a lot better athlete that I personally played a little bit better with during the preseason? Uh, if you guys have an outright starter that you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. If not, it's probably going to be an open competition. If I play a game good with Leaf, I'll stay with him. If I play like terrible, just can't complete a pass, throwing picks, I might have to go to Quincy Carter. We have a two-headed quarterback room right now, which is less than ideal. So I would argue that maybe one of the top priorities for this team as we enter into the 2003-2004 season in pink slips is to slowly start to win a quarterback in that we can really build upon and not have to rely on the draft. But there's our team right now. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. Hopefully I get through it. Hopefully my voice wasn't too, too bad. And I should be good for tomorrow's video. I hope so. Uh, we made it though. We did it. We made it. We got through the preseason. And uh, we'll be back in probably about a, day, a couple days to get into episode four of Pink Slips, which will have the first four games of the regular season. Colts, Jags, Bills, and Browns. So thank you guys for watching. As always, if your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping You talking that shit when you talking and talking Look at my options, look at me dropping Ass in the game like, who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never I'm way too clever Look at the kick